Can you hear the wind and the rain? Oh, it's so beautiful out here. Ah, oh, it's getting cold. We haven't really talked to the boys yet. Maybe we should. Apparently the boys are in the tent, so... Hello. Hi there. Is there everyone? Anyone? The tent is just tarpaulin fabric covering a pile of stuff. The flap is open. Inside, three young men, all in forward-looking apparel, reminiscent of the sticker on the padlock, are listening to some new form of music. It's like nothing you've ever heard. One of them looks at you. Is that a revival of disco? Come on! Get in and close the flap behind you. The warm stuff's getting out. It's safe to assume this is their leader. Or at least he thinks he is. Yeah, all right. Sorry, we barely have room for one. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, poor lieutenant. You go ahead. I'm too old for this. I'm actually not, he thinks. I just dislike delinquents. I'm sure you will feel right at home. I'll keep watch. Kim gestures for us to squeeze in. Hey, hey. What a cool music. Is that the new disco? Are you tripping out to this? Canisters filled with what appears to be water. The label says distilled. A speaker, the big kind they use for life. Wild, wild, I want to see. Where's the child I used to be? That would be leaving, I guess. We don't want to leave. We want to talk to these guys. Oh. You see a youngish man bleaching the tips of his hair with a toothbrush. He puts the toothbrush down and extends his hand in greeting. Hello, I'm Andre. It's a pleasure to meet you. There is definitely something futuristic about his hair. Aggressively so. You get the sense that this is what the future will look like. Imbecilic. Yes, should the future ever come, it will look deeply imbecilic, like this guy. Screw the Germans, we'll shake his hand. His grip is strong, sweaty and warm. He's trying to project and inspire confidence. He wants to be the leader, anyway. This is my posse. Noid. The young man with earrings looks at you suspiciously. A an egghead. Egg! The tape player high above his head it continues to blast. But it's probably anodic music. Together with a little burger, who's out there right now, doing some seriously progressive sonic experimentation, we like to think of ourselves as music venue organisers. How, how many music venues have you organised? We have many in the pipeline, officer. That means they haven't set up a single one yet. Yeah, I understood that. Why are you here? You see, we've been all over Jamrock North, Prospecting for real estate to establish a new venue in. Artists are for talent. Yeah, thank you, Egghead. And while there is no shortage of raw, unfettered talent spinning tapes in Jamrock, we've had rotten luck with the real estate part. Place is a shithole. I, I apologise for my friend Noid's potty mouth. I realise this is not how you speak to a police officer. I he has authority issues. Mm. There's no need, the place is pretty bad. Which brings me to the problem of occupied ecclesiastical property. I bet you've noticed the derelict hive of narcomania on the coast. Narcomania. An attempt to pander to your perceived conservative sensibilities. No person his age would ever use a word like narcomania with a straight face. Don't fall for it. Enough histrionics, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the church, and I'm not exaggerating. Even a place of spiritual refuge can become a magnet for all sorts of dope heads and burnouts if left unattended. So you're worried about that or you applaud that? Dope heads! Burnouts! He angrily spits on a screw then starts cleaning it. Well, I'm sad to say, that's exactly what happened. Sad because we were just about to put Martin A's on the map with one of the maddest dance clubs in Jamrock. Nah, strike that in Revershol. Strike that! The world! The world! And sadder yet, because the dope heads and burnouts hold up in there with the worst kind. He leans back a little, watching you with a steady, serious gaze. Letting you imagine just how bad those dope heads and burnouts really are. What have they done, the dope heads? Good. This calls for an opinion. You're an expert in those. 
Letting you imagine just how bad they are. Um, no narcomaniacs on my watch. Yeah, it's it's too too early. I feel like you may be laying this on a bit thick. What's so bad about these dope heads and burnouts? They're spooky. We want to know more about this. Um, what do you mean by spooky? I was hoping you would be the judge of that, officer. All I can say is. Their spookiness is the kind that keeps us from restoring this church into a community center and a place of spiritual refuge. For this music. Also, they don't eat or clean the building. Shit's gonna collapse. People just wanna spin tapes without them spooking it up. Place has bad signs. No one can dance like that. Thank you, Egghead. So you're gonna look into it, right? It should be a police matter. Getting them out. Whatever spooky stuff they're doing, I'm sure it's not what the Ecclesiastes meant their property for. I'll look into it. Uh, tell me more. All right, man. He claps his hands enthusiastically. Andre's obviously very happy he took him seriously. The whole tent is. The boys exchanged giddy looks. A silly, no. You mentioned some kind... Ecclesiastes own the church. Who are these people? Oh yeah, that's a meteor and name for the founding party. Thought it'd be cool to use it. Cool. Hmm. A meteorian name. If you don't know what the founding party is, there might be a way to mask it with minor demagoguery. Ah, uh, yeah, we can we can mask it. Now humor me, Andre. What is the founding party? Come to think of it, I've never really looked them up, you know. I can't give you a precise definition, but they're a very powerful religious organization. And? And they have roots in ancient mass society. And they're the custodians of the Periconassian church. Plus, they anoint the innocents. They, like, made the innocentic system, the no? The innocentic system. This guy is an academic. Huh. They sounded like exactly the kind of who want, want loud and nodic mo music in their church. In your opinion, would this... No, 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 no. They sound exactly like the kind who want, would want loud and nodic mo music in their church, You're right? You're right, they do. He says without the slightest hint of irony. The Periconassian church is about love. And nodic music is about love. I got love for my Periconassian posse. Love is the relay out of death! We dance! He violently shakes the tape player as if to see if he can break it. Love is hardcore! Unity! Unity! Make some noise for my insulindian posse! He turns the volume up then looks at you with a knowing nod as if it's obvious you will now break into dance. You feel it. The anodes and the cathodes coursing through you. Your big toe starts tapping along to the base, as if testing the waters. Ah, no words. Enjoy the beat. Feels good. I don't quite understand what you're talking about. What is a posse? Your posse's like your people, man. Like you got your cup posse. You look out for each other and you party together. That's a posse. And where is your posse, detective? Nothing comes to you. The world is silent. Uh, I guess, I guess, uh, I guess love can be pretty hardcore. Oh yeah, it can. He's coming around. You're getting it. Oh nice, I'm so happy we're getting it. Mm, you're right, how could the founding party be anything but enthusiastic? Dance music is about love, and so is the Perry Perry Canassian Church. Yeah, Yako Qatar, the place to be. He seems ecstatic that you share his vision of Perry Carnassianism. Do it for the masses. Do it for the crew. His friend forms a fist with a screwdriver still in his hand, approvingly. I so. didn't want to say it, but it was pretty lame of you to imply otherwise. Anyway, you got more questions? The one with the large head. Is still looking at you, nodding his head. 
waiting for your body to start moving. Who are these people, by, by the way, inside the church? The truth is, I don't really know. None of us do. I don't even know how many there are. All we've seen are glimpses. Ah, uh, you haven't even... Uh, better safe than sorry. Anything more you can tell yes. me? Yes. There's also the machinery. The machinery? This machinery is of the deeply mystical variety. When I first scouted the place, back in February, it was abandoned, empty. Took some time getting the crew together. So about two weeks ago, we came here hoping to set the stuff up. Suddenly, there are all these strange machines lying around in there. What is... One of them has wires running into bowls of water. Wires into water. Never seen anything like it. That seems odd. Andre, tell him about the feeling. Oh, and it felt like there was something in there with us, watching us from the dark. A thing? No, the other one. Um, which other one? I'm not as in tune with my emotions as you are, Egg. Felt like silence. Awful silence. For this man, even regular silence is awful enough. But that was something great. An entity, but you haven't physically seen anyone. Not exactly. We've just seen someone who we think is a woman go in and out of the church. A couple of times. And we felt someone or something eyeing us inside. But that's kind of it. The woman, red hair, maybe a lorry woman? Sure, why not? Yeah. But not really. Brown hair. Old. Heavy, dark signs. Which one is it? R what Noid said. So brown and older, Ruby might have dyed her hair, though it seems like a stretch at this point. What was that about some thing watching you? Like you aren't alone, you know? It wasn't quite human, if you know what I mean. Not human? As in a ghost? Do you know what he means? No. It was this dark shape climbing upside down along the ceiling, like some kind of crab man. Crab man? Yeah, you know, the way it was climbing up and around the ceiling. Like a crab. The crabs are coming out of the seas for the copper copper apocalypse. It was stalking a cell, exhibiting ambush behavior. Odd. Crabs are usually marine creatures and not known for climbing walls. Are you sure there was a crab man? Yeah, totally. I mean, I didn't personally see it. A cell was alone that time. But I believe her. If she comes out running and says there's a crab in there, there's a crab in there. You should ask her about it. But be nice. Don't tell her you don't believe in a crab. The implications of this are too numerous to consider. Proceed with caution. Learn all you can before the entering that dark from the, building. From the traps. There probably is no crab man. Don't let them draw you in with this nonsense. Ah, I'm not so sure about this, Miss Logic. Can you tell me more about the machinery? You should talk to Noid about that. I just got a distinct burnout and doped sign from them. Probably jacked up to some snuff station too. Probably, very likely. So how can you assure they're burnouts and dopeheads if you haven't even seen them? Well, honestly, I can't, but I am. It's a connection. This is a below feeble attempt at avoidance. Basically, he is attempting to weaponize idiocy. Ah. Uh... Wow, you can't, but you do. I should add weaponized idiocy to my own repertoire. Hey now, I'm 70% sure they're substance abusers. Don't let all that technology fool you. Where do you think the drugs come from? Yeah, let's talk about sure. something else. What? Um, I sort of told me Noid put the padlock on the door. Oh, there? so you met her? Good, good. He's not as glad as he would like you to think. There's concern in his voice. I did ask Noid to install a measure against more drifters wandering in. It's a temporary fix, just something to contain the situation. I had to do it in an hurry. Not my best work, but it should hold for a while. Now, uh, how long have those people been locked in there? Not long. Like a week, maybe? <laughs> like a week? <laughs> okay, they won't starve to death in a week, but maybe they will dry out. Let's just support them. They they seem to be onto something, right? This is cool. Taking initiative like this is proper citizen behavior, and I endorse it. Thank you. We just thought it was the right thing to do. But now I need the key. Of course. Noid, give the officer the key. All right. Speed Freak dips into his belt pack and produces a yellow key. Then he makes a sudden cool infused move, tossing it in your general direction. Be the cool cop. 
catch the key as it flies toward you. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I don't think we're, we're, we're clumsy. Let it fall to the ground and pick it up like a normal Nod adult person. watches you pick up the key with a smirk. Right, ah, uh, the question. Sure, man. Tell us what you want to know. Let's do it. I wanted to ask you about this tent full of equipment. Yes. What? I see you brought your own water. Yeah, yeah. Good to have. Bitch to carry. When I first scattered the place, I did some reconnaissance. I'm not sure the church even is running water. It's distilled water, right? You cannot drink that. Uh, oh. He doesn't know what to say. It's the one they sell at the fuel station. It's like he's lying to you, my liege. For trucks. But he's slippery enough that there's nothing for you to grab hold of. Uh, all right, enough of yours. He nods enthusiastically. No doubt, a little relieved. Hmm. Maybe everything isn't quite as you've been told. Take a moment to an analyze. That's what we'll do. Okay. So the Speed Freaks want to start a club for dance music. That much checks out. Youths like music. You feel as though you might have liked music more when you were young, too. But you digress. Uh, what's the gist of it? The gist of it is, they want to turn the church into a club. But a suspicious element has overtaken the building. It's very important to understand what the gist of things is. Always mm. consult the gist before making up your mind. This is going well. Plus, and it has to be considered, you can't invent the future of dance music in this smelly old tent. Imagine if you had the church. Yes, indeed. That settles it. Analysis complete. Their story checks out. It still feels as if this didn't quite go as it should have. But... That's as always, now. we'll be right here, waiting patiently for the news. Yeah! Let's talk to the other guys as well. Are they start a young in? man with no, peroxide blonde hair holds up a Harmon Walshy tape player, nice. nodding along to the music. Yeah. He looks at you with a knowing smile and says, hey. as though you're supposed to be sharing some tremendous evangelical secret. <laughs> Hardcore! Say nothing. Hardcore! Nothing. Hardcore to the mega! All right. Here comes the night. Could there have been a right way out of this garden of forking paths, you think? <laughs> a right way out of this garden of forking paths. The young what, man what, with... What, what, this is hardcore. Is it? It's hardcore! You're just going to keep saying it's hardcore, aren't you? Skibba dee, skibba danger. I am the rearranger. Your cop training did not prepare you for this. What to do? Back to the heavyweight jam! Back to the heavyweight jam, says the young man with the tape player and the large boidero boots. Long shaped trees sprout on his silver belt buckle. Hardcore! Hardcore! But is, is it? I mean, really? Yeah! This young man adds a capital G before the H in his Yags and Args. This produces a guttural Gottwaldian accent and makes him sound more animal more in it or maybe it's not got volume uh -huh. maybe it's oranese probably an homage to orania uh -huh. where arno van eyck is from judging by his name could you be listening to an arno van eyck creation right now we'll try yeah the y to the e to the a 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 to the g to the h to the exclamation mark yeah! We're close. Okay, says the young man with the tape player. True, hard, full, car. Nothing. Hard car. Still hard nothing. Hard car is a mega. Internally nothing. coherent. I was wondering if you knew who killed the mercenary hanging behind the whirling in rags hostel. Good morning, yeah. One, two, three. Yako Qatar, the place to be. Uh, I'm beginning to think this doesn't have to do... You said that before. Why is this Yako Kata the place to be? What does that mean? Yako Kata is a hardcore place. Ah. Yako Kata is an abbreviation from the Guardian term 
Zone of Ecological Catastrophe, an agricultural mega project mm. in the extreme southeast of the Gradient Isola. It involved cutting edge approaches to irrigation and a completely new type of fertilizer. An intricate system of irrigation networks pockmarking the earth, intermittent seas of phosphorus mud, ripped tarpauling fluttering in the wind. A pair of molten rubber boots also comes to mind. All in all, a truly hardcore place. Hardcore. True, hard, full car. Is it? It's hard car. I don't know what to say to that. Skibber D, skibber danger. I am the rearranger. Your cop training did not. Okay. Big clothes. True, hard, hard say car. Nothing. Ah, still hard say nothing. Hard car is a mega. All right. Here comes the na- The clothes. Oh. True, hard, full car. Is it? It's hard car. Just gonna keep skip saying. Skip a D, skip Your cop train. Yeah, no yeah, yeah, okay. The clothes. True, hard, full <sighs> car. We'll say nothing. Hard car. We'll still hard say nothing. Hard car is a mega. And still say Internally nothing. Internally coherent. And we'll try to still say nothing. All car. Yeah! Uh, say nothing. He furrows his brow as his very large head traces the sublime invisible movement of the music in the very real air of the stuffy tent. Hardcore! Ah! He lets out an agonized roar over the feverish, obviously not too hardcore beat below. So hardcore! Is it though? <gasps> He stops dead in his tracks, tilting his head to the side. It is... What is it? I mean, really. He tilts his head to the other side like an owl. Feels like you should reply with the very pinnacle of idiocy here, so that things get totally transcendent. But you haven't gotten there yet, so you don't know what to say. I was thinking that too. I am the Mike Enforcer. I am the Chick's Checker. Yeah! 